This video is a KuCoin futures trading tutorial. In this video, I will be explaining everything that you need to know about KuCoin futures so that you can go ahead and start trading futures on the KuCoin platform. If you do not yet have a KuCoin account, I will leave a link down in the description below. And if you use this link, you will not only get 10% off all of your trading fees, but you can also get a $700 bonus when you go ahead and sign up. I also want to preface this video by saying that I am not a financial advisor and nothing in this video should be taken as financial advice. With all of that out of the way, let's get into the actual tutorial. So if you just load up KuCoin right here, the first thing that we actually need to do is before we even go into the trading platform so that we can go ahead and trade futures, we first of all need to fund your futures account. So to do this, all we need to do is go up to assets right here, click into your assets, into this asset overview, and then you will be taken over to this area. Now, if I go ahead and take a look at my account right here, you can see in my margin and in my futures account, I currently don't have any money. So what I'm going to do is just go over to either the funding or trading account, wherever you have your funds that you want to trade with, and then all I'm going to do is transfer this. So click on transfer on this right hand side and then transfer my crypto from my funding account over to my futures account. Once that is done and you now have your cryptocurrency in your futures account, there is a few things that I want to mention here. So if you look on this account right here, we either have coins where we can trade with USDT or USDC or coins where we can trade with Bitcoin, Ethereum, Polkadot, or XRP. Now there is a big difference here. The difference being that if you trade with coin futures, either USDT or USDC, when you realize your profits, they will go straight into stable coins. So you don't have the fluctuation of the underlying asset to also take into consideration. Alternatively, if you're trading with coins, not only do you have your trade to take into consideration when you are trading with leverage, but you also have the volatility of the underlying asset as all of your profits will be realized in the coin that you trade with. So with this in mind, I'm actually not going to be trading with Ethereum and I'm just going to go ahead and convert my Ethereum over to USDT. I just transferred all of that over and as you can now see, I have $26 worth of USDT in this account and this is what I'm going to be trading with. So once you have either your stable coins or your cryptocurrency in your futures account, this is where we can then head over to the derivative section and open up the futures overview. If you have never traded futures before, it's going to bring you to this screen. All we need to do is click on start trading right here. And this is the screen that you will be taken to. If we just take a look right here, this right here that you can see, this big chart is of course the chart for the coin that you have chosen. Now we can go ahead and switch out which coins you are trading with. For example, right now, this is Bitcoin futures against the USDT token, which is what I will be trading with. We can go into here and you can search for whichever coin you want. So let's say that I want to be trading Cardano. You can see Cardano Perpetual, which is the futures version of this coin. I can click into this. And this is then going to take me over to the Cardano menu so that I can go ahead and start trading with this coin. If you do not have a coin in mind that you would like to trade with, we can also once again go over to the selection where we can change the coin. And then from this menu, select either the USDT section if you are trading with stable coins or the coin section if you are trading with coins. This is going to bring you up a menu of all of the coins that you can trade with against the token that you are currently using. So for this example, I'm going to make this nice and easy and I'm actually just going to stick with Bitcoin right here. Once you have selected your coin and you know which coin you will be trading with, we can then move on to the charts. So with the charts, there's a few things that we can see here. We can see the price of Bitcoin currently right here as well as how much the coin has gone up in the past 24 hours. We also have the 24 hour volume that is listed right here. So we can see that 63.4 thousand Bitcoin have been traded in the past 24 hours. We can see we have a timeline here and we can choose the timeline of how we want to view this. 
So if I go into the minute by minute, the one minute section right here, we can see that each one of these candles represents one minute of time. If we move up to the hour long time frame, each of these candles now represents an hour. And it's the same for if we go up to four hours, each of these candles now represents a four hour time frame. I personally prefer trading on the hourly chart. I think it gives a perfect mix of the lower time frames and the higher time frames. And this is the time frame that I personally choose to trade on. So we can hover over certain sections and right here you can see the amount of Bitcoin that was traded in this time period. There is also a bunch of tools and indicators that you can use on this chart. So the tools are listed on the left hand side right here. We can add in like trend lines. So we could just add this and start a drawing in certain trend lines. We have the pitchfork, which as I said, is good for drawing out channels. If you want to create a channel with this, you can just put these in. And there is a lot of different tools on here that you can go around and play with. Alternatively, we can also go into the indicators section up here and we can add different indicators. So one of the most popular indicators in the world right now is the MACD indicator. We can simply go ahead and add this to the chart. And then if you want to go ahead and change like the colors or even mess around with the inputs of the MACD indicator, you can do all of that right here. Once your indicators have been added, we can also get rid of them just by clicking on this little X button. We can also change the view of the chart. So I know for some people, especially starting out, this whole candle chart can be very confusing. So we can simply go here to candles and then change it into a few different things. So we have hollow candles, which are the exact same concept, apart from the green candles are always going to be hollow. And really this just helps with the visibility. We can also change this to bars. And I have never really used any chart layout apart from candles and hollow candles, but there are different trading strategies that you can use with all of these different types of bars. Now the most simple one is definitely the line where it just shows up as a line. So you can just get a good understanding of the Bitcoin price without any of the confusing aspects of using candles or anything like that. So I'm just going to switch this back to candles right here as for me personally, I just find it the easiest. We also have a setting section so that you can go ahead and customize how this looks. For example, if you want to change the color of the candles, you can absolutely go ahead and do this. You can change the borders, the wicks of candles, the scales, just like this, the background color, and anything that really helps you see the chart more or anything that you might want to add or take away from this. So that is the chart section. And the next thing that I want to talk about right here is the order book. Now in the order book, you can see this red section right here. These are all of the people who are selling Bitcoin against USDT. And then in the buy order book, you can see all of the people who are asking to buy Bitcoin against USDT. And then this number in the middle is the median price. And as you can see, this price right here is always going to match up with the price of Bitcoin that is shown right here. They also have kind of like this bar chart on the side where you can see how many sells are coming in against how many buys. This can be helpful to use because you can see potential buy or sell walls that will have to be broken through for certain prices to make sense. So you can effectively view this as a visual representation of what is happening with all of these numbers right here. We can also go into real time trades and we can see all of the trades that are currently coming through for Bitcoin right now. So we can see the amount of Bitcoin that is being processed with each of these orders, as well as the time that each of these orders are coming through. If you want to get back to the order book, we can just select that right here. With that being said, this is the fun part. This is where we can actually move on to making trades and actually getting into the leverage. So we can go up to the top right here where we can see leverage. And right now you can see my leverage is set to five times leverage. We can go ahead and open up this drop down and we can go all the way up to 100% leverage, 125% even. Now this is absolutely crazy. And I do not recommend anybody trading on 125x leverage as the chances of your entire account getting liquidated very, very quickly is extremely high. 
So if I just go for 1x leverage, this is just me effectively trading normally. So I'm on 1x leverage, and if I was to go ahead and trade with my 26 USDT, I would buy Bitcoin and I would get 26.58 USDT worth. However, if I then go up to 10x leverage, I can then use my 26 USDT. And if I was to go ahead and spend all of this right here, as you can see, because I'm on 10x leverage, I basically 10 times the amount of Bitcoin that I will be buying, and I will be buying $241 worth. So if I was to buy here on 10x leverage, what that would mean is if price goes up, I make 10 times more than I usually would from the same price movement. But the opposite is also true, where if price goes down, I lose 10 times as much as I usually would with that same price movement. If you go up more, it just gets crazier and crazier. I can go up to 25x leverage right here. And with my $26 worth of USDT, I can now trade with $600 worth of Bitcoin. Once again, it's the exact same concept if I was to go long here. If price goes up, I make 25 times more than I usually would in that same period. But if price goes down, I lose 25 times as much. So it's no shock to say that if price moves against you, it goes the way that you weren't expecting. You can get liquidated very, very quickly. Now to make an order, all you need to do is come over to this section on the right hand side. First of all, choose your leverage. I'm just going to go for 10x leverage right here. Click on confirm. And as you can see, my leverage is now locked in. And we have a few options here and we can go for either limit or market when we actually want to make an order. If I was to go for limit right here, it's I can choose the price that I want to buy Bitcoin at. So I can say, okay, I want to buy Bitcoin, but I think price right here is a little bit too high at 34,000. I think it's going to come down a little bit and then it's going to eventually go up. So what I can say is if the Bitcoin price comes down right here to 34,000, that is where I want to buy. So in here, I would just type in 34,000, the amount of Bitcoin that I would like to buy at that price point. So as you can see, if I just go for 100% of my USDT, I'm on 10x leverage. So it's going to buy $238 worth of Bitcoin. What I can then do is click right here on buy long, click on this right here and then buy. It's then going to ask for your trading password. And then if I go ahead and click on confirm, you can see that my order has now been submitted. Now this is going to stay open. Of course, it's not going to be able to be filled right here. As you can see, this is not filled because it's only going to be filled at where this green line has appeared on the 34,000 mark. So I'm just going to go ahead and cancel this real quick. So that is the limit order right there. And then with the market order, this is where I can just go ahead and buy Bitcoin at the current price and get the order filled instantly at just the current price of Bitcoin. So if I go right here, what I'm actually going to do is just go down to the minute chart for this because I do not want to be in this trade for a long time. And then what I can do is simply choose to buy Bitcoin or sell Bitcoin at the current level. I was in the process of editing this video and I realized that I didn't make clear what the difference is between buying long and selling short when you are on leverage. Now, obviously, if you are trading as spot, if you are doing regular trading on KuCoin or any other exchange, you cannot usually sell coins that you don't have. However, because this is leverage and the whole concept of leverage is that you are borrowing money, we can buy long like normal and just use a certain amount of leverage. However, we can also do something called short selling. And what short selling is, is it effectively means that you can sell coins that you don't have. For example, I have no Bitcoin in my account. However, I can currently sell Bitcoin at the current price in the hopes of buying it back later for a cheaper price if the price drops. So just needed to preface this by saying because I'm about to make a short trade in this tutorial and I didn't have any Bitcoin in my account. So just wanted to clear that up to avoid any confusion. So right here, I'm just going to go ahead and click sell short. Let me do 100%. As you can see, this is $241 worth. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and click sell short. If I sell this at the market price, as you can see, that order has now been filled. And you can see all of these options along the bottom. So you can see the total value, you can see the entry price, the mark price, and also your liquidation price. So what this means is if Bitcoin goes all the way up to 37,000, all the way up here, my account is going to be completely wiped out. I will lose all of the money that I had in my futures trading account, and that is all going to be taken away. So with this, and this is the risk of futures trading, if the price was to go all the way up to 37,000, let me just mark this on right here. If price was to go all the way up to 37,000, I would get liquidated, but then it comes back down and I suddenly become profitable. Actually, no, I don't become profitable because I was wiped out and my entire account balance has gone. As soon as it hit 37,000, uh, 749 right here. You can also see the unrealized profit and loss. So as you can see, my position right here that I entered is currently down 0.12% or 0.02 USD. So that's about two cents. So you can either wait this out, you can choose to close the position at a loss, or you can wait until hopefully you are profitable before you go ahead and close out the position right here. And then the final thing that I want to cover is you can go ahead and close out your position. Once again, you can either choose a limit, so I can choose a price that I want to sell my Bitcoin at, or I can just go ahead and close it out at the market when I am happy with the profit and loss that I have taken right here. So my position right here is currently in the red, but I'm just going to go ahead and close this out anywhere at market, just going to go for 100% of this. And then as you can see, my order has now been closed. If I then go over to the realized profit and loss, you can see I took a 35 cent loss on that trade right there. So once you have finished with your futures trading, all we then need to do is go back over to assets, go to the futures account right here, and then we can simply go ahead and transfer your funds, once again, out of your futures account, back into your main funding account. So I can just go right here, put these back in, and that is how you can take them back out of your futures account and put it back into one of your other accounts. Now that is how you can use the futures trading feature on KuCoin. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.